guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video today, I am going to be printing and trying to solve Maker Muse's uh, puzzle, basically. Uh, the one he just made and posted on June the 1st. So let's get right into that time lapse of me trying to solve it. And I might even do a tutorial to show you how to solve the puzzle too. So let's get right into that. Okay, so you saw the time lapse. Uh, that model was green that I had printing. Uh, and here's the interesting part. So I screwed up and I printed this off. And as I can show you, I these parts just don't fit together at all, basically. Um, they're way too tight. And I believe that's because I was using a 0.3 clearance. Um, and that just with three millimeter layer height just isn't enough clearance to actually allow the parts to slide together. So I have already had recorded the time lapse and I'm printing it off now in Blue Matter Hacker's MH build at one point or 0.15 millimeter layer height, which I think will fix the problem. Um, and these are the only two parts that fit together, which I don't know exactly which two parts they are, but I didn't do it the right way, obviously. But that's why you're going to see the green model turn out and then switch to blue, because I messed up. And I just don't feel like having to re-record my time lapse. But, uh, yeah, so let's get into that model that's printing right now. Okay, so I got all these parts finished printing, um, and we're going to keep them set up like this. So you'll be able to tell based on the models in the actual thing, it's pretty easy. My setting, I'm using Matter Hacker's MH Build uh, Blue PLA uh, at 110 degrees. And I am basically running at normal. It's at 100%. Um, the flow is 110, not 100, sorry. Uh, everything is basically normal. There's not any special retraction speeds. I was printing it at 1.5 millimeters, 0.15, sorry. Um, and it, it turned out really well uh, with the, this is the three millimeter um, spacing parts that they had, but so let's get into actually how to solve it, which I will show you how to do. Yeah, so disclaimer, if you don't want to see how to solve it, don't watch this next part. Because um, this is going to show you exactly how to solve. So you're going to take these two pieces. And these are the ones. This is actually the biggest part on the, all of the printer. Or in the whole entire print, actually. Um, that you're going to want to take. So this model, or this piece, which is actually the back one. Um, and then, I can't remember exactly which which order they they are like on the actual design itself but like it, it's it's not it's not too hard of a puzzle to solve it's but but these pieces um if i can focus in so this one has this shape on it and this one has this shape they slide in together just like this so this piece is ready now to be assembled totally and then this piece also does the same sort of thing but this one it's on these two sides so this one right here and this and this side um, at least this is how I figured out on the sides that work easiest for me I may just slide together and it might be nice to just work the parts 
in and out of each other to let them slide really easily along each other. Um, and so now you have the two halves, essentially is what you have. And so then you're gonna wanna take this side and this side, which is also the solved portion of, um, actually this side, sorry, uh, this rotates over here. That's the solved side and just slide it right down. Maybe push it through the other side a little bit. And it, it's it, The hardest part is probably actually taking it apart, I would say, um, because you have to figure out which, which two pieces actually fit, push apart um, to slide away from each other. But yeah, that's basically how to solve it. Uh, I. It's really cool, but, and it's not as challenging as I thought it would be, but I've also done a lot of this sort of thing before, so I, I think it's a pretty cool design, but you could I could definitely see people fidgeting with this, or even me, just the way that it slides right down. And so yeah, there's the logo. You can see it on all the sides. It's a pretty cool model. I like it a lot. So I hope you like this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Uh, go check out Maker Muse's video for his puzzle. I will put a link in the description for that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.